does 0 to 40 in 3.9 seconds. That's really quick. The ride is great. Wow, this goes fast. We're often complaining about the pollution and the noise around the streets in India. Why psych yourself out with all the pollution when you can bike yourself out of it? Let me introduce you to Aether, the future of automobiles in India. India will await to life and freedom. Wow, this is beautiful. It says the motor is on. I didn't even know it was on. Unbelievably quiet, isn't it? It's actually moving. Let's begin first with Aether. Tell us about where did this idea come around from? The first thing that pulled us in was, gosh, the huge opportunity in electric. The way we think of vision of a company is a state of the future. The future that really excited us was this future where we were like, everything's going to be electric, right? All vehicles are going to be electric. Whatever technology has even like a 1% advantage, just decimates everything else. And, and what we saw was that electric was becoming that. The shift to electric vehicles could potentially help India save up to 20 lakh crores in oil imports and nearly one gigaton of carbon dioxide emissions by 2030. This vehicle has some really kick-ass features. The dashboard is very advanced and I'd like to believe it's connected to the net. So the dashboard is an interesting new thing in two-wheelers, right? Uh, almost no other two-wheeler globally has this sort of a powerful dashboard today. Well, we need an interface for the driver to interact with the vehicle and for this data to be uploaded. And the natural uh, idea was, well, that's more, more or less like a tablet because you need a fair bit of computing power. So then we ended up building a tablet. It does navigation, it does document storage, it does other upgrades, uh, it does mode selection. In the next one year, it will do like 10x of those features, right? What we do know is that the opportunity on that is huge. I think we are the first ones in the country who have tried to build an electric scooter with this sort of performance, uh, with this sort of a power. And we certainly are the first ones in the country at least to have this sort of a dashboard. Almost nobody has this sort of an interface for the driver to interact. So I think that's definitely a USB. We believe in India, if, the, if you can build a company that can churn out product after product after product in the EV space, 100% pure electric vehicles, right? No hybrid, no other technology de uh, deviation, just pure electric, good electric vehicles. When people ride this, they should go like, wow, God, the petrol scooter against this is so lethargic. It's so sluggish. It just is not in the same league. There, on the wall, 1902 to 2018, the silencer is a thing of the past. Now this one is belt driven. It's got very few moving parts. And I'm sure you're thinking, hey, no petrol, how does it work? There you go. That's the solution. A little bit of charge will take you a long way. It does use lesser material, right? It is a lighter frame at the end of the day. It is a frame that would actually that is actually repairable. This is actually bolted together, so you can actually replace components and do it. But if you get customers to like electric because of this, then you can start optimizing it. There are no companies today in the ecosystem which are preparing themselves for an electric future. Forget electric, forget dashboard, forget software, forget everything. You know, when I was in college, the biggest problem was going out with my friends and then coming back home because my mother would know I've arrived. But with this one, it's quiet. Nobody will ever know you're coming or you're going. Like you see, you have no idea what I'm doing right now. What we're doing in Bangalore is a little bit of a control experiment. It's building some sort of a playbook. We've installed 25 points in Bangalore already. Uh, we've got a first service center up. We're, we're planning to open a distribution center. The same model is what we want to replicate next year in three to four more cities. Out of the 20 most polluted cities in the world, unfortunately, 13 are in India. Now imagine if all the vehicles in Bengaluru, Mumbai, Delhi, Chennai and all the cities in India had these vehicles. Zero pollution, our kids would breathe pure air and the environment would be so much more better. 
Now let's consider a person who does 40 kilometers a day. He has two scooties. One works on electricity, the other works on petrol. He'd spend at least about 80 bucks each and every day that he drives. But he'd only spend 20 rupees of electricity units, which essentially means in a year he'd spend about 40,000 rupees on petrol, but about five to 6,000 rupees if he uses an electric scooty. How are people taking to it? I mean, do they see this more than just a vehicle or do they see it as a vehicle to a better future? That is one of the things that pushes the customers to buy this vehicle as well. It's just not being talky and economics point of view. Yeah. They want to do something good for the community as well. Yeah. Because they are riding in a, like, they are riding a petrol vehicle which is affecting themselves as well. Because yeah. they have to spend 10 minutes let's say in a traffic jam which is affecting them. They don't want to do that. It's really easy to make a change without even making any noise. You can sometimes do it really quietly. Go electric and make a difference. If you enjoyed this smooth ride on today's episode of Tech Probe on this official India Times Facebook page, don't forget to like, comment and share. We have a lot more to offer to you.